after looking into the operations of a group of companies linked to Meru County Senator and Senate Public Investment Committee Vice Chair Mithika Linturi, we found behavior that looked suspicious and a story from the early days of the Jubilee government's reign that shows their impact. He is now one of Deputy President William Ruto's closest allies in the region. His links to various companies that receive government funds are vast. Lenturi is linked to at least 14 different companies, either directly or via proxy, that have been paid to procure various goods and services, from medicines to sofa sets. But it is the web of transactions around the jewel in his crown of companies that gives an indication as to why Linturi's web may be so big. Atticon Limited. Enter two men, both who have close links to Atticon Limited and have worked with Linturi. I was hearing about, uh, about him. I personally have not known him, but um, I got to know him and I was happy working for, for a politician, for a well-known person in the society. Simon is a former employee of Linturi's and Fred's current role gives him unique insights about the group of companies. I've had the pleasure of interacting with him, business-wise. And I know he can be a crook. And he's not straightforward at all. They both know the group of companies' inner workings. But Atticon Limited is particularly interesting as an example of how companies within this group pivot from tender to tender. Atticon Limited began operations as a construction company owned and operated by engineers. Linturi would then acquire the company, but not only for construction. By 2013, they were engaged in the supply of altogether different kinds of goods. Here's where it gets interesting. Hi, Uhuru Kenyatta. In late 2013, just months after the Jubilee government had taken office, a tender was floated for the supply of honorary medals. Wondering what these are? These are medals awarded to people who receive national honors. According to the Kenya Gazette, that year, 296 people received national honors. They included Kenyans of various extractions, from President Uhuru Kenyatta's mother, Mamangena Kenyatta, to a posthumous award for Nobel laureate Wangari Mathai to opposition leader Raila Odinga. The procurement of medals for the awards was done through the office of the deputy president. Enter our next character. My name is Amirian Chebet Kitani. Um, at the time I met uh, the senator for Meru, that's uh, Mithika Linturi, I was the chief of staff to the deputy president. This was from 2013, around April, after the deputy president's office had been set up because I came in as a chief of staff. One distinguishing characteristic of the companies we have observed that win tenders is that their owners seem to have information about upcoming tenders that isn't yet in the public domain. It would seem that from 2013, Linturi, at the very least, had the opportunity to get this kind of privileged information. But remember, we were friends, huh? Yes. Yes. Because he used to come often to yes. my office, uh, seeking favors, and I would then take those favors to the deputy president. Sometimes the deputy president would send him to my office. Yeah, but he, he, would be, he was an often, he was a frequent visitor. The tender happened in 2014, and uh, the reason that tender was at the deputy president's office then was because um, the process of, uh, of awarding uh, medals to officers was actually spearheaded by the deputy president. So the presidency at that time didn't have uh, enough medals, and a procurement uh, commenced. Keitani denies that she gave Linturi any information regarding the tender, but doesn't dismiss her officer's involvement altogether. Maybe when he went and approached the officers then, he could have told them, I am a friend to your chief of staff. Simon broke down his allegation about how Atticon, the construction company, won a tender to supply honorary medals to the office of the deputy president. 
those that deal with uh, ODP, ODP um, Office of the Deputy President, well, he tendered his companies, like six of his companies, to do the tender for printing services, which, as you are aware, as per the government public procurement act, you're not supposed to actually tender from the same entity more than one document. But in this case, uh, they actually tendered six companies to do the same thing. We, we met with them in the tendering committee. Everyone had their own documents, but you could see that the people there were from the same company. So you could just see that it was something that was just being played there. Yeah, it was just more of a game. And the company that won was Article Limited, which if you go around and look at it, it's a construction company. But in this case, it won for printing services, having said that it does printing in Dubai, which to me, I don't believe that is the case. So they misrepresented themselves and got awarded for the tender, and they think they supplied the medals that they were given to supply. What is important about this allegation isn't just that different companies, all with ties to Medhika Linturi, bid for the same contract. Simon claims that the directors of these companies were Linturi's employees. We looked into other companies linked to Linturi and found at least four companies where his employees were also director shareholders in his business, according to company registration documents. He uses his employees to register companies and actually transact with them. And uh, at the end of the day, because you're an employee, whatever comes through that company is his. You have no legal saying, you have no legal right to it. So you are actually used as a dummy to be there so that their money can be channeled through that. Yeah, those companies. Two companies with the same beneficial owners um, cannot bid for the same tender because obviously there's no walls between the two companies and ultimately it will be seen as uh, collusive tendering which is definitely um, sanctionable by disqualification from entering into a contract or even if a contract has been entered into it is voidable. We have been unable to find the original tender document to establish the full value of the tender but from the leaked data set of public procurement payments we have received, we do know that Linturi's company, Atikon, was paid 109 million shillings, approximately $1 million for the supply of honorary medals on the 20th of January, 2016. But this wouldn't be the only tender that one of Linturi's companies won at the office of the deputy president. In June 2014, Two companies linked to the senator would supply office furniture and executive stationery collectively worth 18 million shillings. Igembe South MP Mitika Linturi, who was to table a motion for the impeachment of Devolution Cabinet Secretary Anwai Guru, met signatories of his motion in a closed door breakfast meeting. There are over 107 members of parliament have signed for that petition, for that motion. In May 2014, Linturi was leading the charge in an impeachment motion against current Kirinyaga governor, Anu Waihuru, who was a cabinet secretary at the time. After he had uh, acquired the signatures and the impeachment motion was coming up for debate, I think the following week in parliament, the deputy president told me to handle the matter. So I looked for him and he was adamant and... Um, I kind of wooed him and we went to Naivasha. I think uh, I've said that in the divorce course and I can say the rest is history. In terms of by the time the impeachment motion was being tabled in parliament, he was not there, yet he was the mover of the motion. Where was he? We were in Naivasha with him. 
Keitani and Linturi's romance blossomed in the same month that tenders were being paid out to Linturi Link companies. Ketanyi has denied her involvement in the awarding of tenders to companies linked to Linturi while she was a chief of staff. A year later, Ketanyi would be dismissed from her post over allegations of corruption. She was cleared of those charges in 2021. Ketanyi is now suing Linturi for allegedly defrauding her and her family by using properties owned by her family to receive bank overdrafts. The case is being investigated by the Department of Criminal Investigations. Linturi is also part of a network of beneficiaries linked to Madeira Member of Parliament, Regadi Gashagua, currently also under investigation by the DCI. Mithika Linturi is different things to different people. A political ally, an estranged husband, a devoted boss, I got to know him and I was happy working for, for a politician. Or maybe not. I'm not a very straightforward person. And um, as you're all aware, you've been seeing what has been going around. And I believe where there's smoke, there's fire. But from the network of companies he has created and the hundreds of millions of shillings that they have collectively won, Mithika Linturi has the template for winning tenders and he's not alone. So, how do you win a tender from the government of Kenya? You may need to ask Mithika Linturi. He seems to understand the mechanics of Kenyan tenderpreneurship. <laughs>